Good morning. It is the fifth day of a week on farm foods frozen food. It is the fifth day of a week on farm foods frozen foods. Farm foods, farm foods frozen foods. It's a tongue twister. Why do I do these things to myself? I've woken up this morning incredibly hungry, but maybe that's because about 2 a.m. last night I woke up needing to do the opposite of being hungry, if you know what I'm saying. So I've got a big gap down there that needs to be filled. Th breakfast, I mean, obviously. Basil seems to have changed his tact this morning because he's been fed, as you can see by him licking his chops. However, he was just trying to trip me up as I was doing the intro, weren't you, Basil? Now he's turned his head in shame. Oh, he's rude. I've seriously struggled to piece together seven breakfasts with this week, so this one's going to take a little bit of imagination use, because my farm foods cordon bleu, that's right, farm foods do cordon bleu, five cheese and ham chicken steaks. Now, if you squint, it looks a little bit like a sandwich, doesn't it? So, I'm going to pretend this is a cheese and ham breakfast sandwich and the bread is chicken. Hmm, so yeah, I mean this is farm food's foray into something a little posher. Because look, it's in French and everything. At first I was like, who's Gordon Blue? Like, no, that's not a person. So, steak composed of formed chicken filled with melted cheese and turkey ham. It's okay, so it's turkey ham. Coated in crispy breadcrumbs, fully cooked. I'm glad it's fully cooked. Don't want to let part cooked turkey. I hear it can make you quite ill. I don't want to repeat of last night. So, I'm going to uh, put this bad boy in the oven and uh, yeah, pretend it's a sandwich. How are you looking? Yep, definitely looks like a sandwich. Gracie, what did you just say these things look like? They look like little breast implants. They look like breaded breast implants. Yeah. Okay. Well, I Not mean, how I, I, pictured them. I don't see it. I mean, I don't know if they feel like... Anyway, I'm going to get them on the, in the oven <laughs> before this gets any weirder than it already is. Listen to that. They are frazzling. So here are my chicken cordon bleu. Very fancy breakfast for a very fancy guy. Let's uh, see how it looks in the middle. It looks fine. <laughs> I shall try this and I shall be fancy. Mm. Actually really nice. Completely not a breakfast item. That would go nice with some beans and some chips. But I don't have those to hand right now. So I'm just going to eat them like that. It's actually, it's actually pretty nice. Not too salty. Nice smooth cheese, which did burn, and uh, can't taste the ham at all, but the chicken's good. Watching some Disney videos, looking at the delicious food, wondering if there's more to life than just farm foods. What do you reckon, Basil? Mm? Do you think it's about time I got some lunch? Can I get some lunch? Yeah? Why are you always insistent on looking past me? Because today is Sunday, the day I'm filming this, it only makes sense that being British, I have a good old fashioned roast dinner. Beef dinner, to be exact, and it's home style. I'm sure this is going to taste exactly like everyone's home style cooked roast dinner. And it comes with roast potatoes, carrots, peas, and a Yorkshire pudding. God knows how a Yorkshire pudding is going to fare in the microwave, but we're going to find out. I've got a feeling I'm going to like the beef. This sort of beef always tastes pretty good. Uh, they look nothing like roast potatoes. They look like, I don't know, the microchips I've had for the rest of the week. So <laughs> this is going to be, um, yeah, Ooh, we'll see. 51% of my daily salt in this bad boy. Good Lord. So, yeah, my uh, my liver shrinks further by the day. Let's get it in the microwave. So the veggies being in the same compartment makes sense. The potatoes being all in their own compartment makes sense. Then we've got the beef with the Yorkshire pudding in the same compartment, which, when this starts to melt, is just going to make one soggy 
Yorkshire pudding, isn't it? But yeah, let's see. This thing also takes 11 and a half minutes, which is ridiculous. So it's not so much that the Yorkshire pudding is going to crisp up. It's just that it's going to be decimated. Lovely. How it should look. How it does look. How it should look. How it does look. How it, yeah, okay, I'm bored of that. So, shall I try? Oh, I'm excited, what shall I try first? <gasps> How the bloody hell has that gone semi-crunchy? Let's try it. Oh, no, can't even chew that. No, that has been decimated. Oh, I'll try that later. Let's try a bit of beef. <laughs> Look at this. That's the thinnest bit. That's not what beef's supposed to look like. <gasps> oh my word. That's incredible. It's round, thin. What? I, I just, I need to look. Is there a, is this even real beef? Do I have some sort of, it's 7% beef? It's reformed beef. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever had reformed beef in this way before. Obviously beef burgers are reformed beef before you get mad at me in the comments. It actually tastes lovely. Mmm. Oh, that is good and that gravy is really good too. Let's try a <laughs> roast potato, which is just a chip. It's going to taste like microchip, isn't it? Mmm. It does. More potato flavour though than the weird micro chip flavor you get with the uh, the chips i mean this i can know uh, yeah not taste exactly as i thought so actually apart from that this is really nice i'm very surprised by that beef that is lovely well done that is that is top class another day another sorting out of old Lego, so I've been going through loads of old stuff, and uh, yeah, it's not quite as fun taking it apart as it is building it, but you're going to go into storage until you want to be rebuilt again. Uh, that, although that's quite satisfying. Ooh, yeah. Definitely a gaming kind of afternoon today, where there's really crap outside. So we're playing The Last of Us for the first time. And Grace is uh, in charge at the moment. How are we looking over here? But Basil isn't impressed. That's what I like to hear. Shock horror. I've been doing some reading today. I know. The things we do for university courses, eh? It's good so far. I'm enjoying it. It's been a really strange day. Really not much happened. Um, but, you know, doing nothing works up a hunger. So I'm thinking it's time for some dinner. Dinner tonight! And in a week where I'm doing nothing but frozen food, I really couldn't get away with not having a pizza, could I? Farm foods, hand-stretched pepperoni pizza. Large 11. <laughs> know what I mean, fellas? No. Naples-style thick crust, thin, thick crust, thin base. Bit of an oxymoron there. Restaurant quality. Ooh, look, that's exact footage of my pizza being made. So, I uh, i mean, this looks all right. You really, it's hard to get pizza wrong, let's be honest. 12 to 14 minutes in the oven. What's the damage gonna be? 100 grams is gonna be 29 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, uh, 1.6 grams of salt. So yeah, fits in with the trend of the rest of the stuff, don't it? So let's get it in the oven. Super generous there, Farm Foods, with your 14 bits of pepperoni. Buy me, I'm being spoiled. I mean, it looks fine. Is it going to be restaurant quality? Who knows, but time to get you in the oven. Be good, please. Well, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't smell too bad. All 14 of my pepperonis are still intact. Let's give it a try. You jealous? Yeah, it does look really nice, actually. Hmm. Is it good? I'm not sure I'd call it restaurant quality. And the, even though the pepperoni looks weird, it actually has got a nice flavour to it. 
quite a lot of cheese, more cheese than you maybe expect on a frozen pizza. And the base is actually really crispy. Mm. Actually, yeah, that's really good. Um, it takes a lot for me to be impressed by a frozen pizza, but yeah, that's lovely. In a bite. There's been a distinct lack of desserts during this week on, so I think it's time to fix that with a big old chocolate fudge cake. I'm quite excited for this one. Restaurant quality. Well, there's a theme today. Everything's restaurant quality. The pizza was nice, not restaurant quality. Let's see if the cake can save the day. I'll give this one thing. It's presented nice and fancy. So let's see how the cake looks. I've already got a whiff of chocolate and it does smell nice. So let's see. <laughs> it's pre-sliced. Just slices of cake. Ooh, this looks really nice. I just, I just want to try a little bit. Oh, and that's not as. It's had. It's been in the fridge for like two hours trying to to thaw. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. I can smell it from here. Oh, it smells so rich and fudgy. Oh, look at it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Is it good? Mm, I thought it was going to be dry. It's a touch dry. Yeah, get your laughing gear around this. Oh, wow. Mm. I don't think that's dry at all. Little bit. Little, little bit. Could do with a bit of cream, a bit of squirty mm. cream, I think. It's very mm. um, sweet, mm -hmm. but it's just delicious. It's everything you'd want in a chocolate cake. Mm. It's ganache as well. Oh, look at that. I don't want to eat all of that yesterday. Mmm. <laughs> Leave me to be alone with my chocolate cake. Oh, I'm going to bed. Very happy tonight. Do I still have chocolate in my bed? I don't know. I wouldn't care. I, I would be happy if I did because then I could be like, mm -hmm. yeah, taste that chocolate cake all over again. That was really, really good. So uh, let's quickly recap the day for breakfast. I had my cordon bleu, which wasn't really a breakfast item, but was very nice nonetheless. Then my lunch was my beef dinner, which apart from the roast, the, the uh, Yorkshire pudding, it was all right. That beef was really nice. I need to see if Farm Foods just sell that beef in gravy because I would genuinely just have that just on its own. Me and a spoon with that. We'd get on like a house on fire. Don't know what that motion is. I guess it's me eating. Uh, and then for dinner, it was that pizza. Restaurant quality. Wasn't restaurant quality, but it was lovely. And I would definitely have it again, especially considering how much it cost. Super cheap, very nice, shove it in the oven, Bob's your uncle, pizza's in my tum. And then I had that chocolate fudge cake, which was delicious. Again, not quite restaurant quality, but not far off. A little dry, loads of flavour, very sweet, nice and chocolatey, nice and rich. Very much enjoyed that. So, um, yeah, today has raised the bar for farm foods really really lovely day enjoyed everything and uh yeah no complaints so i'm gonna have to see if i can find something uh more interesting for tomorrow so if you want to find out how things go and if i can ride this high or if it dips down i'm not going to purposefully look for crap stuff i just uh yeah i've had the interesting stuff as far as the uh, kebab meat and chips haven't i and mac and cheese pies and I mean, even the mac and cheese pizza yesterday was lovely, so pff, can't call how this one's going to go. But it's, if uh, you want to see how it does go, please like the channel, please subscribe to the video. No, that was wrong. Do the other way around. But, you know, do both. It's all cool. Or you can follow the show on Patreon uh, for as little as $2 a month. You can watch all of my videos early, including the rest of this week on. Because it's been an interesting one. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for day six. Thank <laughs> you.